Good morning, guys. I'm dog tired, but I did want to share music with you, and I hope you did listen. But as far as being justified, as you see in James 2, when it speaks of uh, faith without works is dead, well, that's true. Faith without works is dead. But it's not talking about salvation if you read in context. I mean, you can't have it both ways. When you read in Romans where Abraham uh, was justified and, and also David imputed righteousness. Blessed is the man who God imputes righteousness without the works of the law. I mean, there's it does harmonize. And, but reading in context when you read James 2, it is absolutely about our works before men. And God does see our works and can reward those works. There's many folks, man, that are going to come before the judgment seat of Christ and saved yet so by fire. They'll have nothing to show for their life. Their life will be nullified, basically. But still, will they be happy? Yes, they will. But there's going to be probably a moment of um, coming to Jesus, if you will, about how they live their life and not taking the word of God seriously. And uh, there's, there's vessels of honor, and there is vessels of dishonor in a great house. And the great house is the kingdom of God. And upon this earth, other believers, there's going to be vessels of honor and dishonor. And uh, you can't get around it, guys, or shake it. I mean, God knows those that are his, you know, those that you got to realize salvation is a gift. And that is the beginning, starting line. Without that assurance of Christ that he did it for you, what he did at the cross was enough, you can't even, you can't even start to grow. You can't even begin to grow with that assurance. That's the starting line. But uh, with God's grace, each and every day, a little here, a little there, right? Um, we grow by the word of God feeding on the Word of God and taking it seriously. Your life does matter, and God wants you to know that it does. And He wants He's got purpose for you. He's never going to leave you nor forsake you, but He wants you to have purpose in your life. And realize, don't believe the lies of the devil saying, you can't do this. You cannot do this. Look at what you've been doing. Look how you live. Oh, you just ain't going to ever do anything for the Lord. You can never uh, do what Paul did or anybody like that, you know, or I'm going to tell you something. We're all human. You qualify as a human being that Christ died for as a man or a woman. Christ died for you. That qualifies you. If you trust and put your trust on him, you're qualified. You cannot run this race by yourself. There's no way you could even begin to get the reward. You know, I think sometimes God, and it's just loving kindness and his goodness, if we have a willing heart and moving toward and have a positive volition toward God's word and him, it's not being perfect to get you the great reward to run the race. It's his grace that helps you run that race. You're just participating, really. He don't need your help. He can, he can snap his fingers and make you like a Paul, the Apostle Paul. But he wants you to, to want him, to want to love him. To, to, it's about love at the end of the day. It really is. He wants you to love him, to grow closer to him by getting into his word, not as a means of that's, Oh, man, if you don't get my word, I'm just going to bash you over the head. And you're not going to... The truth is, he wants to get into his word because it's going to, it sets you free. It gives you light. It gives you freedom. It gives you peace, joy. He wants joy and happiness for you. In this life, whether it might be the struggle of your life, no matter how dark things may seem, in a dark world, he wants you to have victory to be um, a real true witness and a true ambassador of the kingdom of God. That the world, you're a light in this world. You're salt and light. 
while you are in this world. And it don't matter how which difficulties you're going through or how hard things really are, and they are hard. Uh, everybody's got different situations they're going through, no matter how hard it is. You can do this. You can make a difference. You can actually run this race and get the high call, the gift, the big reward, man. You got your own path that God put before you, and he gave you his word, a lamp unto your feet. It's a light unto your path, a lamp unto your feet. And he makes some bones about it. He'll help you do this if you want it. If you really want it, he'll help you. Um, don't give up. Don't give up. Hold fast to that which is true. <clears throat> he wants you to be co-workers with him, if you will. No? Um, but kick some butt for Jesus. I know that. I, I, sorry about the little... But if you get what I'm saying, um, don't be discouraged. Don't be sad. Don't be dismayed about things that are going on in this world and um, drawn away by um, just everyday life, everyday pressures, or whatever it might be. Hope fast to that which is true. Our attitude toward the Word of God. He, he'll help you. Even ask Him. If you want to ask Him, help, Lord, help my attitude toward your Word. And you, he'll help you. He wants to. He's waiting. He's waiting for you to ask such things. That's in line with the scripture. There's no nothing wrong with that. Um, we're praying according to his will. That Lord, you know, enlighten my eyes more. Give me more understanding. I pray for wisdom. That's a wise thing to do. And the Lord's, um, you know, we want to grow more in love with the Lord. You grow in, more in love with someone you love, right? Even physically upon this earth. You know, we learn to love folks more. And uh, friends, whether it be family members or friends or your spouse. You know, that love should grow. And that's, uh, I, I believe that's, and we don't take that for granted. We don't take them for granted. Uh, communication is key. Communication between any relationship. And God wants to talk to you today. He wants to tell you, I love you. Hang in there. Don't give up. But God bless you guys. I love you too, and um, pray for me. I need it. And uh, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have a great day and weekend. All right? Bye-bye.